Greetings, the bulk handling guy here. Today we'll see how we can check if our magnet still work properly after some years in service, for instance in a food processing plant, in a mine, in the recycling sector or perhaps in the pharma industry. They are very important, at least the type of magnets that we will check today. For that, we'll show you what equipment we require and how to proceed. So let's go and let's see how we can do that. The first thing we will need is to have a Gauss meter at hand. There are many types of Gauss meter, for instance this one here, handheld. One is very practical. It will have the data logger itself with a screen to show the results and also you will be able to uh, attach or to connect uh, transverse hull or axial hull, we call it uh, flat, flat probe for that purpose and check and how we will proceed is that we will check different points of our magnet. We basically have flat or what we, ca we call plate magnets, so it's uh, a surface, a flat surface. And on the other hand, usually what we also have, for at least for the sectors that I, that I have mentioned, is uh, the bar or a rod magnet. Okay, this is how they work. Basically, in a flat uh, magnet, uh, in a flat magnet, what we will have is more or less an homogeneous uh, strength all in all the surface of the magnet itself. Only a little bit in the edges, it will change but what we will do is check like 30 times in different points of the magnet of that area that surface instead when we have a rod a bar magnet what we have is actually inside that magnet different different units of uh, smaller magnets defining a set of, stri of stripes like I'm trying to draw here okay and what we will do is measure the strength which is uh, maximum in these stripes okay when the north and south poles of those of those uh, smaller magnets meet okay that is where you, you want to check uh, that uh, the strength is at, at its highest and obviously we can have magnets with uh, 1000 gauss in strength 2000 and all those values in between up to 12000 gauss where well, usually it's the maximum for permanent magnets, then you also have, of course, electromagnetic magnets. Okay, now what we have is the Gauss meter ready, the probe connected, we turn it on. And in a few seconds we will be ready to measure the strength, we will see in the screen the different values. As said before, you can see here some iron dust that we will use as references for those stripes as commented before. Okay, all along, all along the magnet. And once you can see here the values displayed in the screen and once we place the flat 
probe on the magnet, we get different values. This is a 9,000 magnet, so if it's kept its strength, we should be able, you see very low values between the stripes. And as we approach the end of each smaller magnet inside the bar, we will get higher values. So 7,000, 8,000, we are approaching 9,000 or 9 point kilo gauss, 8 point. Okay, we are close to 9,000. We'll check another stripe. So if we can reach 9,000 or more. And as I said before, some 30 readings, 30, 40, as many as you can, in order to check that along all along the, the magnet, the values, we get our as expected, and then we choose like three of them, which we consider more representative, and we'll get get out the uh, mean value of those. 8,000, 8,000 something here. Okay, it might have lost a little bit of strength. That might happen when it falls or gets struck or it's, uh, it's under some hot conditions, some high temperature conditions that could happen that uh, instead of 9,000, we get like 15, 20% less strength. We can turn, we can turn it and kept on reading, checking. Here it seems, it looks as if we were getting the highest value in this area, but more or less in each stripe, as you can see, we get around 8,000 something, okay. In the end, with the values that you get, you will set up a report that should look or could look like this one with the name of and reference of each magnet, uh, manufacturing company, some specific features, if it's uh, easy cleaning or what, uh, how it works. And then the three values mentioned before that we think are more representative, the mean value, we'll say if it's suitable or not. And some comments like if it requires cleaning, it has some roast or things uh, like that. And obviously, if we want to give uh, this, uh, this report uh, a value as a certificate, our, our Gauss meter will require that at least annually it is checked by an auditing, an official institution. This is something expensive, but we do something that we do for our customers as a service to them. And okay, this is how you do it. We hope you enjoyed the video, we hope it's useful for you in your daily activity, please like, share and subscribe and see you soon.